kid. Short, he'll like to get inside. He'll brawl with you. You saw a little bit of that in the bout with Vernon Forrest last year. This should be a good one. Lyle Acklestead is a referee for this bout. Steve Johnston in red. Shane Mosley of Pomona, California in the blue. You mentioned Steve Johnston being a tough kid. He comes from a tough section of Denver. Went to Manual High School and was an outstanding all-around athlete. Played football. The punt returner, defensive back, and was recruited by several major schools to return punts. Idaho, Idaho State uh, with two football schools that wanted him. He said Utah was looking at him. Uh, you talk to Shane Mosley, he feels he needs to be more aggressive to beat Johnston because Johnston will be aggressive. You can see Johnston, this is not unlike uh, the fight with the taller McKee and the shorter Griffin. Johnston all over the taller Mosley and he's going to press this fight. Did not like losing the title last year. Shane Mosley lost to Steve Johnston, 21 to 17, in the semifinals of the Olympic Festival, and that began a very difficult year for Shane because the loss kept him out of the World Championships and the Pan American Games, and he said he had to go back to the drawing board. He felt he wasn't ready mentally, but he feels he's a much smarter, more mature boxer now. Johnson's been working on the left uppercut. Mosley has a left jab, moves his head well. Says he tightens up in big bouts, and this certainly for the national title is a big bout. And if you tighten up and you don't have that extension and you have a reach advantage, it could cause some problems. Three-time Olympic coach Pat Naffey, the, the godfather of U.S. amateur boxing, uh, said a couple of years ago that Shane Mosley has the fastest hands of any U.S. boxer. Stevie Preston, definitely Preston. Uh, Johnston had a, uh, a cold after his semifinal bout. Patrick uh, Washington in the semis, and he came out of it with a, with a head cold, so the uh, second and third round could be telling for Stevie Johnson. See, Mosley stepping back and allowing those punches to miss, and then using that hand speed to, to land some shots. He really has quick hands. Sometimes that aggressiveness can work against you if you're facing a good counterpuncher like a Mosley. See, that, that's what Mosley does not want. Stevie Johnson wants to brawl. Mosley wants to keep his distance. Whoever is able to, to move the bout in, in their direction is going to have the upper hand. As you mentioned, they've met twice previously. Each boxer has a victory. Johnson, straight ahead, trying to close off the ring. Mosley backpedaling and landing some punches. He was just cautioned for pinning Johnson's glove beneath his arm. of round one. Two evenly matched boxers, Steve Johnston and Shane Mosley. We'll have more from Colorado Springs in a moment. Shane Mosley for the championship at 139 pounds. Mosley in blue, Johnston in red. Snapping Johnston's head back. That four to three score indicates that neither boxer is scoring, in the opinion of the judges, many scoring blows. So the boxer that gets a flurry and three or four scoring blows, a combination, could take a big lead in this bout. Shane Mosley is coached by his dad, Jack, who's in his corner tonight. Steve Johnson got started in boxing at the age of 14. His uncle Richard got him started. Stevie cannot afford to give this kind of space to Shane Mosley. Mosley wants to sit outside and pop away, and he will. Steve Johnson has to get up in his face, get closer. And a good left by Shane. Johnson walked right into that. And another one. Yeah. And a right. Good overhand right by Shane Mosley. See that hand speed. He is really quick. One 
minute remaining in round two. Good right hand by Stevie Johnson out of that clinch. Johnson landing again with the left. Mosley back with the right. Johnson was just cautioned for butting. Keeping his distance. I think if he moves in, he can steal this bout from Shane Mosley. But he cannot sit out there at arm's length. So this one is very much up for grabs. But Mosley had 10-9 as we go to the third and final round. Steve Johnson coming in. Remember the head cold in the semifinals. Third round could be tough for Steve Johnson if it's bothered him. We asked Steve if it's an advantage for him being from Colorado and being used to the altitude. He said, no, not really. Which surprised me because... Well, I played football out here in Wyoming, and I can tell you it is an advantage. Uh, if they didn't get 40 points on us in the first quarter, which they normally did, uh, we usually could catch up by the fourth quarter. Caution to Steve Johnston for holding behind the head. Boxers. Vernon Forrest, the reigning U.S. champion, he's ranked third in the world. Both Mosley and Johnston are former U.S. champions. Mosley landing lefts and rights and forcing Johnston to back up. Teron Millette, another tremendous amateur boxer. The U.S. is very strong in the lighter weights. Eric Griffin, a world champion, 106. We saw De La Hoya at 132. Tim Austin at 112, also an excellent boxer. But as you move into the heavier weights, that's where the U.S. seems to be weak. The Briggs looks very promising. And Pua tonight, too, I thought, in the, uh, in the uh, super heavyweight division. I thought he has a tremendous amount of potential. The best heavyweight in the world is Felix Sabone of Cuba, who, if he lived anywhere else, would be a pro by now. He's a great boxer. Good exchange by Mosley. Johnson missing. Johnson standing right in front of Shane Mosley, and that's not a good idea. Johnson trying to keep the pressure on, but Mosley eluded most of those punches. Mosley appears to be tired, and uh, Steve Johnson normally, as we've seen him in the past, would be pressing harder here. He's he really not. Looks a little tired. I'm wondering if he thinks he's ahead in this bout. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so either, but he's boxing like he's ahead. Mosley just hit him with a good right as Johnson was walking in. Mosley bouncing off the ropes, counter punching effectively. It's all over at 139 pounds. Will it be Shane Mosley? Who's in the blue corner? 